four, three, two. Hello, this is uh, Dave, and welcome to Equity Story. I'm with uh, Morphe, and this is just a general share advice and not personal advice. Um, sound a bit like a robot then. Mm. Um, okay. That's well, recording. Are we recording? Am I pre did I press the button? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you sounded like a recording. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get very correct with this announcement, which we have to do every day. Uh, which gets very boring when you have to do it 365 times a year times about five. Well, how many times do we have to say that? Oh, like a thousand times a year. I mean, come on, surely there's a better way for us to get the point across. Anyway, okay. anyway, let's let's talk about some stories, Wolf. Uh, because uh, there's a few dangerous ones. WC, it's uh, it's all lithium this morning. All the lithium companies are coming out with uh. We got this lithium, we got that lithium, and obviously playing the game. Uh, WC8 came out with its lithium results and is up 79%. And why? A good question. I mean, uh, you know, the results were fair. Nothing spectacular at all. Nothing brilliant in in at all. I think just average at best. But I might really. The traders are in there. Um, I do you think, do you think that it's a, a, uh, much better? Yeah, thing. do you think it's a headlines, Wolfie? Major, major. Not like a, not like a lithium. It's a major. Do you think that's got mums and dads all excited? I, look, I, I think you can call it major if it's big, right? It doesn't have to be high grade as long as it's big. And, I, you know, 85 meters is decent when it comes to an intercept. So... I understand using the word major, but of course, you know, as a investor, trader, whatever, read through the bloody announcement, right? Whether you like it or not, uh, because obviously there's more detail uh, in there to give you more information so you can make a better, better, uh, I suppose, investment decision overall, right? Um, yeah, look, uh, for me, is there a major as in brilliant discovery? No, it isn't. Is it a major discovery that may be size-wise? Yeah, possibly. Is it a major discovery grade-wise? No, it isn't, right? So, they I, it, look, it's all up to interpretation. It's all up to thing. But for me, nah, much better, much better stories. I mean, look at AZS, for example, with their drilling results from today. Um, wow. And look, 218.8. I mean, that's obviously quite sizable, right? That's what uh, we're uh, and, and with AZS, it's hard to gauge. It's obviously had a big move already, right? It's been right, up with Frida. But it had that AWC8 move already, right? For, yeah. Where I go, so... Now it's you know people going. We want more. We want you know bigger and better and and so on. And you know that is the look. One hundred and four at one point six. One hundred and thirty two at one twenty five. Hang on, these are much better results than um, WC eight, and that's going down. It just shows, right? Perspective. Where are they at with the drilling? Um, drilling wise, from project point of view, all these little things. You know, are the are the investors tired a little bit of it? Moving on to some possibly. People are jumping from AZS moving to WC8 because it's just a ni nice new fresh face to, to play with. Okay. All right. I, Let's I talk. Be careful. Probably capital raising coming up with WC8. <laughs> All right. I, I think pretty quickly as well, right? Um, we had um, uh, yeah. two little copper plates, EM2, which yeah. I mean, you know, look, you, obviously you're not buying that chart and another one that really Einstein's. I think just bring up that that EM two because I think it's educational, right, for people. Because I, look, you you are like almost caught out with this announcement. Um, when you just read the few few lines, you think, oh, okay, they've done some drilling. Not really um, channel sampling, and you know, ask your question, ask the question. You ask me, what is channel channel sampling? Well, luckily for us, they show you exactly what channel sampling oh, looks like. So oh, bring it down. All right, so so uh -huh. obviously I know what channel sampling is, but this is one that's a little bit different. Where what they've done is that they zigzagged it, mm -hmm. uh, and they've do, done it underground. Where 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 it's quite tricky. You read this and you go thirty seven because you well, if you look at a lot of reports every day, it's like thirty meters yeah. and forty meters, and this one goes thirty five point seven meters at two point six, right? But they they've zigged it, so it's not quite. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not quite the same as sort of drilling down in the ground, right? And when you've got 35 meters of 2.6, they, they've zigzagged it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but that that's a legit form of um, exploration, right? I mean, that's there's not, they're not doing anything wrong here. They're not... 
No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, say, I, I, I'm not saying that. But you need to understand how to read these. Yeah, exactly. These. Exactly what it actually means. Absolutely. Because if you just read the first few lines and you go, a "Recent channel sampling includes fifteen point three," you think, "Okay, they." You know, for me anyway, if you were maybe fresh off um, looking at some of these things and you might be not sure, you're thinking, "Okay, maybe they did it on on top of the ground. They did a bit of digging and just see, you know, what can they get over a fifteen meter intercept, right? Four point, and you think he's good." But this is, you know, this is a little bit slightly different. This is just, like you said, zigzagging along the wall, uh, which they obviously know that they've got copper in there and just providing that to, to the masses. And, you know, is, is that enough for, for, for as, a, as a result? For me, it isn't, because, of course, you know, I, Channel Assembly for me is not a really ex exciting exploration type stuff um, because you know you're going to probably get some good stuff anyway. It's more about you know hitting something unknown that has come up with a bonanza, but it's it's still legitimate thought of exploration, of course. Wolf, now you you follow a lot of this stuff in the money mining course that you do, right? So okay. again, you know your whole life has been um, you started off as a, a really a mining analyst, a mining expert, yep. and mm -hmm. what I w would like to remind people that are members of your story, you know, if you haven't done the money mining course. You know, uh, put an email into admin at uh, or Karen at equitystory.com.au and learn it because it's again, it's very, very easy to get caught out with these mining stocks if you don't really understand what these announcements are. Yeah, I've, I've got a new way of, of, of doing the essays, right? And, and general, just lick it with the tongue, right? The walls. And if you can taste copper, there you go. You've got copper. Okay. All right. Um, I think that's that'll be lick a bit weird. I think that would be a little bit weird. Uh, but really, copper does taste different, does it? Metallic. I bet it doesn't taste as good as gold. <laughs> I bet you that I bet you that tastes a lot better, Wolf. I, I don't I don't I don't know, but please do not do that at home. <laughs> do not taste any metals at, at all. Um but anyway, look, I, it has it moved the chair share price slightly. That's okay. Um all right, let's have a look at C N B. That's another copper play. Um a, a little bit better, Wolf. So this one's got... Um, How much more conventional type uh, exploration, right? which is drilling. Drilling down uh, and coming up with some nice, strong hits. I mean, 116 meters at 2.1 copper with a little bit of gold in there is very good. I mean, there's not many... Th at the moment, exploration results in Australia like this, right? So you think to yourself, this should be much, doing much better, right? Because the market caps 155 million. With 27 million in cash, you can see just there with the fast facts on the side. Um, but copper at the moment, uh, as in the, the price of copper, isn't you know just going nowhere. So maybe that's what's holding it back for the moment. But if you're looking for a copper play, looking for the longer term view on a copper exploration, anything in Australia, you know this is probably up there somewhere uh, as an interesting copper play. Well, if copper at the beginning of this year was a big hope, wasn't it? You remember all the yeah. articles about copper is yeah. going to go through the moon? Uh, no, I'm just like interested in what, 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 yeah, why hasn't it happened? Because everyone's always wrong. Uh, <laughs> that's, why, that's why, you know, that's why when you've got people coming out with predictions about where certain prices will be in a year's time. Don't ever listen to them because they're never right. I don't think I've ever seen anyone being absolutely spot on with anything of the predictions, right? You play it as it is. You play it on the day. You might have a view about the, you know, what the dynamics might be of the market, you know, the demand versus supply, whatever. But trying to predict where the, where the price might be, you're just, you're just setting yourself to look like an absolute, absolute I'm not even going to say the, word, the bad word, but, you know, you know what I mean? It's just, I don't even know why people do it. I probably they get paid for it to do so. But at the end of the day, look, you you, got, you just got to have the long term view. Instead of coming up with these, okay, one one year price target, just go. Copper has got a big part to play in electrification. It should have decent support. So I'm still positive on copper long 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 term. So I'm just going to follow. If there's going to be price moves for whatever reason, whether there's some complaints, sorry, so, uh, supply constraints, some I don't know wars or whatever that's, that's going to impact the prices then yeah okay i'm going to i'm going to play with it but right now i think copper is still not doing much right and i know the predictions were at the beginning of it it's going to go through it might happen maybe it might, might happen at the end of the year it might happen next year but yeah it, it's just you've got to play the charts at the end of the day dave um 
All right. Now, just uh, talking about those uh, charts, we had, um, and I mean, the markets, you know, start off pretty weak. Beginning of the week, obviously, the Dow was really weak on Friday. Uh, NASDAQ was weak. Uh, but some stocks that did look, we had some buy signals. CBA looked pretty good. Uh, Suncorp looked pretty good. And today's been a, a bit of a down day, so maybe an opportunity to get into some of these. And uh, again, IPG had a really nice buy signal. And let's see if we can get through that $5 this week. Well, it's hopefully, hopefully it can. Wolfie, a word of warning. The uranium stocks are having a great move last week for us. We had quite a few on Einstein's, which uh, go for the roof now. AGE has uh, doing a capital raise. Um, so those short-term traders, be wary, right? These stocks oh, I, think, I think all of these guys will go straight into the you know capital raising mode. Uh, you got to strike when the iron's hot because you just never know what's going to end. Yeah, we've seen it all before, right? When your share price is going up, if you are a good manager of a company, you take advantage of it. It's it's not that you're trying to screw everyone else up. It's just good management because you don't want to dilute people at the bottom of the you know of 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 your chart. You want to you want to do it when you're at the top and. Absolutely right thing to do by AGE and some of the other stuff here. It's just part and parcel. If you're investing in these stories, you've got to expect these sort of things. So once your commodity gets hot like a uranium, expect some capital raisings coming up. And that's the first one, AGE. And probably there's going to be a few more coming up. So those short-term traders, um, obviously, just uh, um, uh, you know understand that uh, maybe take some profits if you yeah, are absolutely. really, really short-term. Uh, Wolf, I can have a look at a few hot stocks recently. The STP has been a, an incredible rise, really. It jumped that sort of 16%, paid a 10% dividend, went back down to 50 cents and jumped back up the next week. It's been very interesting. AX1 is holding trend, just. <laughs> so hold hold on in there. Um, Soul Pats, I, I, I apologize. I chickened out, Wolf, and I, Soul Pats. Uh, it hasn't done too well today, but I look at the Soul Pats chart and it's been a really good hot stock one that we actually put on in January, it's already up 24%, not including dividends. So it's been a big winner. But if you look at that price action, for me, it's looking very similar to this type of price action we had here. And maybe this one can have a run for us. So just be patient. It's a quality story, most probably one of the most quality on our market. So have a look at it. Um, another chart I'd like to bring your attention was uh, the Wolfie's pick, which uh, one we fought over, but he won because he gets his <laughs> picks out a lot quicker than I get mine. So, uh, but that SMR, I think the price action looks very, very good. Right, right, sort of uh, commodity at, at the moment doing re reasonably well. There's a lot of interest in the story, Wolf, and uh, that pr breakout is looking very, very nice. And I think uh, Wolfie up to hopefully up to four dollars as long as Mr. Market behaves itself, that could be a, a really nice winner for you. Um, on that note, Wolfie, it's a little bit quiet. We're going to, you know, there is a... Well, can we go through the announcement today? You haven't even gone through the announcement today. Uh, you're just all over the shop today. I have which, to say. One? Which, which announcement? Well, today we had a few announcements. So we've got MMI, for example. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did, I did those. Yeah, and Ford, yes. Yeah, um, no. I, oh, yeah. We could go We could go for those, but listen. Thanks. All right, MMI. Okay, so, you know, we, we, we are trading this at the moment, right? So I just wanted to mention that um, they've come up with an announcement uh, and pretty much they've set the scene that they're going to be expanding production, right, to 7 million tons. That involves spending some money to get operations the way they wanted to do, which means they have to have to have some infrastructure, which is a couple of boats. So they bought one from Guinea, it was sent to China, that's going to get refurbished. That's all right. I think that's today's announcement I arrived in China, they're going to get refurb refurbished. They bought another one out of Singapore. They'll bring it back to Australia. So it's all part of the bigger picture plan. Um, so I'm still obviously uh, positive and confident that they can pull this off. And hopefully they do. If we can see the cash flow is improving, bottom line improving, like they've said about a month ago, then hopefully this will be a decent story. We can make some money on this. But, you know, it's going to be volatile. It's a small one. Um, I am banking on really the management who are ex-Rio they can pull this off, right? So it's a small trade, but it's interesting. So it's moving along the way you'd expect it to. Um, so I haven't seen anything to give you yet. Fingers crossed. I mean, that, that, 
that that boat does need a, they've taken it to China. It does need a bit of refurbishment. Paul. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. I'd say so. I mean, I a lot of refurbishment. I mean, I'm glad I'm not working on that. It doesn't look. Um, anyway, but uh, you know, I suppose they got a good deal on it, didn't they? Yeah, they, 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 well, I'm sure they did. That's why they probably bought it, right? And when they're bu buying stuff out of out of Guinea, hopefully they got a really good deal. The, tug, a, the, tug, the tugboat looks a bit better, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, coming out of Singapore, so probably in a little bit better condition. It still probably needs to adhere to the Aussie um, maritime rules, whatever. So they probably have to spend some, spend some money on that before they get it across to Australia. But, you know, you know like I said, it is, they are, putting the pieces into play, fingers crossed. Um, I don't mind the chart, lucky. I mean, I've, they, we, we talked about it. It's holding their two cents. Um, it's sort of swinging slightly. So, Wolf, just put it very simply. The the idea that this one day could go back to four cents, it could be a doubler, right? It just yeah. explain why you think that's going to happen. Just simply, simply. Yeah, it simply is um, because of the improving cash flows, improving revenues, and improving production, right? So, the management's got a plan in place to actually make this profitable operation where people will go, hang on a second, this is a good little miner. That there's this, there's a simple explanation that if they can become a profitable miner, they'll be interested in this story. Done. All right. And how long do you think it's it, it, it going to be patient? It might be three or four yeah, months. I'd say, oh, I think longer than that, Dave. I, that that's that's just probably too early for me. I think probably I'm looking six to twelve months. Okay, but it's just got to be patient with the story. That's all, right? Yeah, yeah. That, 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 wouldn't you like to see something double in twelve months? It'd be very ecstatic. That, that's not asking too much, is it? I want it next week. We can't wait that long. You know that. We can't wait. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start calling bloody Buffett to talk, talk to me because haven't, obviously, haven't you I'll seen? Never, I'm just like I want the things got double tomorrow. Well, they do. I mean, have you seen the electricity? Buffett's still at the age of 98. He's just happy to go 10% over the next 10 years. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so best patient there. Now, 4DS. Yep. Okay, I get it. The chip is getting faster and faster and faster. Um, I mean, what does, how... it mean what does it mean? What does it mean? faster getting mean? <laughs> I don't I, understand. It, listen, knows, but... Wolfie, I have problems keeping up with the blooming computer now. I mean, if it went any faster, I'd be lost in it. Uh, but anyway, the, the it's all FOMO. It jumped. I think at one stage it was up eighty percent, and now it's up thirty one percent. Um, I don't know. I don't, I I don't get it. I, I think it's for the farmers out there again, or people that exactly know what this this technology is about. And I know then there's a, maybe there's a couple of people that I've spoken to that really believe in the story. Just protect yourself. Uh, I mean, if you know the story pretty well, I'm not going to say anything because I just don't know, right? So I'm not going to put any negative spin or whatsoever. But for for me. I want to see revenues and commercialization. So if I don't see that, I'm just going to call it as a trading stock. That's it. And and well, you can see how these things can move. Mm -hmm. uh, brain chip was one. The you know ten bag, twenty bagged, and and look, and now it's coming coming back down to. But that, uh, that's the common that's the common thread for a lot of these stories. That's why you know I want everyone to protect themselves because we could see a very similar type. Uh, move. Look, you've seen the same with Webit. There you go. And that's another great one that's going to change yeah, the world. It was, it was, you know, it was going to be the next big thing, right? So yeah, and now we've got. And now we've got. Going to head down the same way. The chances are possibly yes, because we, like I said, you know, I'm just going on history, and history suggests you're going exactly the same way as a Webit, as a BRN. So you got to protect yourself. You don't think this is going to go and be the, the next next big thing because it, it is it, it is very difficult to, to commercialize your technology out there. All right, I can't. I mean, it's just it's had such a jump. Oh, there you go. There's your stop loss if you're in it. Seventeen, mm. eighteen cents. There you go. Okay, uh, and it's um, coming down. So just get get ready. <laughs> uh, and that's on last a minute. One, though, last one I want to quickly talk about on the thing is LIN because I'm not sure what that is, but some of some of this this results were like ridiculous, ridiculous. Okay, don't worry about the chat. Just just bring out that result because people need to see this for themselves. Oh my lord! It's obviously the jurisdiction that's killing this. So bring up the that um, today's announcement now. Eight hundred meters at almost three percent rare earth uh, rare earth oxides uh, from one hundred fifty two. That's a thousand meters at whatever, right? I mean, you don't see that at all. You don't see that at all. <laughs> <laughs> 
So obviously this is going to be pretty massive, I'd say. But you know, the only thing is going. Where are you? Where are you guys? Are you in Australia? No. Or are you in Africa? Oh, you know that that's what the that's what the problem is. Um. So I just I just don't know what to do with this one. Um. Uh, I know obviously there's, there's a lot. Is of it, is this is this because they got I think the Wagner hanging around the corner? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, go back back up up to the day. Also, I mean, also maybe you can you know just go back a little bit slightly as as well. Um. I just want to see where they are. Can you remember oh, what country they're in? Um, oh, this is getting confusing. Um, go, go down. I'm sure you probably right at the end they'll probably say something. Or maybe not. Okay, go up. Was it in? It wasn't Mali. Hang on. It wasn't, it wasn't Guinea. Was it Congo? I think it was Congo. Mm. I think. It was um, Congo. Um, but if you just go up to the to the actual um. There was a nice little picture. Just go down, uh, and just to see how they drilled this and what it looks like as a possible target, right? So keep going down. Here we go. Just leave it there. So they drilled it on a slight angle, right? Um, and you can see that carbonatite, carbonatite breccia. So it looks like a going uh, almost down to the, to the center of the earth. <laughs> that carbonatite breccia. <laughs> so this could be bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, th th this is the thing. It looks like a possible, I don't know, volcano that used to be like that, right? Or some something happening, that happening there. I don't know, but interest, interesting anyway, right? It's a vertical mineralization. Um, if they can somehow make it work, then it's, this is going to be bigger than her. Wolf, this is in Malawi. Okay, there you go. Malawi, thank you. Thank you. Now, don't oh. ask me about Malawi good because I know you've asked me that before. I, you know, I think I'm just going to just brush everyone with the same, same thing. Just Africa is difficult, so you're going to have a massive discount. And I've seen, I think already, you know, some of the other really good projects in Africa right now are struggling because of the coups that are happening. And I think the other thing we're forgetting. Remember, we had that coup in Niger, Niger right recently. Um, and now I've just realized I've just put the two, you know, putting the dots together. And I read somewhere saying. Guys, Nigeria, this is one of the uranium producing regions. Well, there's why another another factor why uranium is running <laughs> is because of the country that's been under coup and they've actually got a production profile in Nigeria for uranium. Um, yeah, listen, I'm just having a look if you want to know a little bit about Malawi. It says uh, petty crimes such as bag snatching and theft is common. Including on public transport. Well, that's no difference to Wolverhampton that's in right. England. Or, or right. just any suburb in Australia. Yeah, violent crime includes burglary, carjacking, food and drink spiking. Okay, there's a city at night. Crime spots include bus and ferry terminals. Okay, and walk between Lingongwe. I don't think we need to know that. Uh, avoid okay. walking at night, particularly in urban areas, okay? Um, oh, God. Uh, okay. Sounds like a normal night in, in London. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Okay, okay, you don't want to go to market areas. They can turn violent. Yeah. So maybe, you know, going to Woolworths there is not quite the same as going to Woolworths here. You could be in Woolworths there, and next thing you know, everyone's attacking each other. Well, um, just wanting, wanting, wanting the stuff you bought in your trolley. <laughs> <sighs> oh, it doesn't look as bad as some of them. It's not as bad as the Congo. Yeah, but, you know, the, these things are very difficult where things can change overnight, right? I mean, Russia's yeah. probably got little Wagner people in every single country in Africa, you know, talking through their ear going, hey, we want a piece of this magnificent um, uh, Lindian rare earths. Give it to us. Give it to us. We'll give you billions of dollars. Tomorrow, the government of Malawi says, sorry, you can't have this project. Done deal, right? You just don't know. I mean, that's why there's a big discount. They don't know oh, that. All right. Um, and and play by the charts. <clears throat> At the moment, Frank, you know the charts are saying they go near there. It's below the trend line. Stay well away. Uh or okay, on that note, Wolfie, there's no sort of real buy stay. I, I actually I tell a lie. Make cash. So I had a look at um I've just put it on a monthly. It's just a dividend paying stock. Uh it's holding just a right on the monthly trend line. Wolf, there's three uh major brokers came out today. Four dollar target prices, four dollars fifty. Uh, generally speaking, quite like the announcement they put out last week. So a little bit of positivity there. So you know, at the moment, if you're looking for a, a long term 
dividend stock, something that you feel is reasonably safe, uh, currently paying 6.11%, um, trading about 13 times. There's an idea for you. On that, no, um, on that note, on that, on that, on that note, thanks, Wolfie, and uh, see you tomorrow, mate. Bye bye. Yeah.